Plotly is a wonderful online graphing tool. We'll use this tool throughout the course of this class to explore all kinds of data. Some people refer to it as a Google Docs for graphs. Not only can you make graphs on any platform via your browser, but also you can share those graphs with me or with your fellow students. Let's begin. Plotly is a uh, place that has a lot of evolving tools. It's still a rapidly um, expanding company. Um, the first thing to say before we even get into the tools is that it is always free. So if you have an individual membership, you can have a membership to Plotly once you graduate, when you're retired, whenever. Let's look at the components of uh, Plotly up here. Uh, the first are some APIs. We don't care about that in Enterprise. Um, first, I'd like to point out the Explore tab. When you click on Explore, what will come up is a series of the most recent graphs that have been posted, either graphs that you've used, that you've made, or that are in just the public feed. Um, uh, the neat thing about Plotly is we can come down here and see all this, this cool stuff. And if something strikes our fancy, in addition to just being able to graph stuff and share the stuff, you can actually go up and, um, and check these graphs out yourself. So I can come in here and click on this graph, and I can check it out. I can interact with it. If I like it a lot, I can fork and edit it, and I can come grab this graph. And then I can have this graph in my own collection. I can play with the data. I can tweak the graph, what have you. We'll leave that to the side for the moment. And let's start at Workspace. Workspace is going to be your base of operations. Workspace is going to be where you hold your data, where you hold your graphs, etc. Now, uh, I've, I've been using it for a while. My students have been using it. And so these are my files. These files here are uh, graphs and sets of data that my students have shared with me to get my feedback and my, my input. If we look over here, um, our information is divided into this uh, box with an X in it, which is the data, and then a um, little illustration of a line graph, which is a graph. I can click on any of these things. For example, I can click on life expectancy versus GDP, and the graph will come up. Very interactive. I can save it. I can share it. I can do whatever I want with it. If I come over and have a look, here's the graph I'm looking at. If I want to look at the underlying data, I just hit view data, and it calls up the data that um, uh, we use to make this graph. Once we have a graph in a form that we like, we can come up and do a lot of different things with it. We can export that graph in a whole host of uh, file types. The other way is to share the material itself, share this multimedia hypertext document right here. So notice as I float over here, it's also interactive. It's not a static graph. But I can come up here and hit share. Now I can share this with some, somebody else. I can send this link to someone if they want to mess with it. I can uh, add somebody's email address in here. I could say something like, uh, and I could um, go like that. And it says, oh, that guy's not a, a, a Plotly user. So I could say, OK, let me add someone um, who is. Here's Alex Green, one of our students. I could say add collaborator, and now he's added on in. I'm allowing him to edit it. So not only can he see it, he can actually tweak the graph, change the underlying data, etc. I can add a message in here. I can also, it says, hey, Alex, hey, Al. I can also come up here and hit this. Now, when you're sharing stuff with me, I'd actually like you to do this. So go ahead and put your name in here, the date you made it, and then what class it's for. If we want to share a graph, we can also do that. We can come up here just like we did before. I can come up here and hit Embed. And now I've generated um, some code. Uh, we'll talk about later how we can use that code. But So we have several ways to get at our graphs. We can uh, print them, we can download them, or we can use um, a hypertext or a, a online link to share them in our blog. So that's a little quick intro to Plotly, and next time we will go in and show you guys how to make a graph. Thanks.